it's a mistake really to think of the internet as a as an other world, as a virtual world, because it's actually an extension of our real world, and therefore everything we do now, from buying things to um, recording our lives to, in our case, everything we do all day at work, writing our stories, email, it's all recorded somewhere. Um, and so now it's difficult actually to think of a part of our lives that isn't online. Maybe we should start with social media. Facebook. Now look, there's nothing mm. too um, salacious on here, but no. there are pictures of my kids, for example, which I'm a bit, I think I was a bit foolish maybe to post. Settings and security, and then at the bottom there's a, a link to deactivate your account. They're laying it on thick here. Look, Suzanne will miss you. Juliet will miss you. I don't know who Suzanne is. Oh, well, there you go. Please select a reason for deactivating. You, you can't just leave. You have to tell them why. I'm fed up with Facebook. That'll show them. How does it feel to have committed Facebook suicide? Well, it's certainly a, quite a big moment. I think it's going to take a while to settle in. But I, I think, you know, give me a few weeks. I should, you know, come through. <laughs> The thing to remember is that you're not actually deleting your account, you're deactivating it. Right. If you log in within 14 days on Facebook, it will then be reactivated again. And even if you don't log in, all the information you upload, including your photos, become the property of Facebook, but it won't be made public. Why do they do that? They develop their intelligence from analysing data. So the more data they have, the more intelligent they are. Right and the more relevant the results that they serve up to you. Now look, here I am, LinkedIn, so... Rather than doing the deactivating, you can actually just close your account. They give you a bit more control over it, which is quite good. Um, close close account. account. Yeah. We're sorry to go... It's been closed. There we go. I'm gone. OK, Twitter. Twitter, yeah. yeah. OK. Now, Twitter is another one where you have to deactivate your account, and this time it gives you 30 days. In the uh, interest of full disclosure, I'm going to delete, but I can't rule out reinstating. Right. I do quite enjoy yeah. Twitter. It's interesting to see whether it's easy or not, actually. Oh, right look, down the deactivate 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 my, my, Here we go. Account. That's quite easy. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Delicious. What's worth remembering with Twitter as well is that you have probably used lots of third-party services that yeah. link into Twitter yeah. and given them permission. So you may well have data on third-party services right. as well. Your account is now deactivated. <gasps> You've probably deleted in 30 days. That doesn't feel quite right to me, actually. You're not getting the same buzz I d as I did off the, uh, the Facebook yeah. thing. So we've done social media. It is worth remembering, though, that we're talking about Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn because that's what we use at the moment. And if you think back a few years, it would have been MySpace and then before that, Friends Reunited and even GeoCities, you know, going back away. And these are all sites where we have sort of ghostly presences not being maintained but still in existence and still searchable. What comes up when you do a Google search? Here's a picture which seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> But, uh, you know, looking back, I'm not that proud of that moment. And uh, it's in a national newspaper, which is actually our, our newspaper. So I'm going to have to write to my boss here and ask him to, uh, to remove that. The other thing that happens when I Google myself is that we come up with another Mark Rice Oxley, a doppelganger who's actually younger and more talented than me. Can we try and delete him? No. <laughs> I have come across quite a good tool um, called People, P-I-P-L dot com, and this will present all of the information that's online about you, but it also goes through a lot of public databases that it can access. You could then contact the agencies and organisations that you're listed and make yeah. your listings private. We've sort of really just scratched the surface here. And what if I just feel, look, this is way too convoluted for me to sort of go through all these screens and all these searches and try and delete myself and write to newspapers what is there anyone who'll do it for me there are there are some some services reputation.com is probably the, the most well known they kind of measure the scale of your problem and then they come up with a price for you probably a bit more realistic though for most people is just to to have a few principles in your mind when you're online that you stick to just be really careful and only put out what you are happy for anybody to see mm. well that's triggered a, a sort of a, perhaps a last thought which is a, about this film i mean we're trying to delete me off the internet and yet we're going to make a film what, what should we do about that i think we should just delete it don't pop, don't put it out <laughs>